Everybody wants to live a good life, and I presume we want people in the future to live good lives. We created the Happy Planet Index really to highlight the tension between creating good lives now and good lives in the future. Because we think people should be happy and the planet should be happy, why don't we create a measure of progress that shows that? And what we do is we say that the ultimate outcome of a nation is how successful is it at creating happy and healthy lives for its citizens. Economic activity tends to be taken as a sign of the sort of strength and power of a nation. And yet all it is is just economic turnover. What the Happy Planet Index does is it takes two things really. It's looking at the well-being of citizens in countries and then it's looking at how many resources they use. It creates what we would call an efficiency measure. It says how much well-being do you get for your resource use. It's like a miles per gallon bang per buck indicator. Running horizontally along the graph is ecological footprint. How much pressure we put on the planet. More is bad. Running vertically upwards is a measure called happy life years. It's like a happiness adjusted life expectancy. And the yellow dot there you see is the global average. The challenge really is to pull the global average up here. That's what we need to do. And if we're going to do that, we need to pull countries from the bottom and we need to pull countries from the right of the graph. And then we're starting to create a happy planet. You can download the report, you can check out your own personal HPI score. It's the first global index of sustainable well-being.